All right, hey YouTube, Doomus RC here, back with another video. Uh, this time we got going going back to Johnny Lightning. Uh, for the moment we got some uh two packs. This is a 2023 release two of the two packs. I got all three um all three pairs here, plus an older uh older one from 2019, 2018. And over here we got a couple of vehicles. Uh, the towing. Truck and trailer, the tow and go, or whatever the hell they're calling them. <laughs> uh, so we'll go right into it. Uh, first up, we're looking at. I also got a new uh, setup, so we'll see how these next few videos work here. I got a little more room here, so hopefully it'll go a little better. Anyway, uh, we got the 2018, uh, 2018 release four two pack. We got the Hubert Platt um, Ford Mustangs, Platt and Payne 69 Mustang, and the Ford Drag Team 69 Mustangs. I've been after this one for a while. I did. I finally picked it up earlier this year. Well, based on when this video probably will get uploaded last year. But <laughs> Go ahead and open that up. And first up, we got the Platt and Plain Mustang. So we can get it out of the damn blister here. There we go. So I got that. The hoods should open. Should? Yeah, the hoods should open on these. There we go. Alright, there we go. Got your opening hood. Yeah, I've been after this two pack for a while. I never did see it in stores. And for some it's like one of those it was one of those releases that just kind of I kept I always kept kind of kept forgetting about it. <laughs> That one, let's see. Might need to do a little trimming on the tire up there. That's right. Anyway, um, and I knew they they showed up at uh this I think this mix of two pack stars showing up at Ollie's here and there. I think I know it showed up locally because a buddy of mine did find a pack. But they did not show up in droves like the uh <laughs> like the some of the latest giant lightning has been showing up. Anyway, uh so that was the Platt and Payne 69, and we'll look at the Ford Drag Team. So this is a much older tooling. This is, what, 98? 99? Copyright? Let's see. Come on. Should be able to get the hood open here. There we go. So, anyway. That's the Ford Drag Team. <laughs> Alright, so that's those. Alright, next up we got from the 2023 release 2, we got the Surf Rods. Uh, two packs, version A with the 50 Mercury Woody Wagon. Let's see. And the 59 Caddy Ambulance. This in the, uh, I forgot what they call this one. But there's a, there was a red one before. It was like, it was a model kit and then they did a Auto, or Auto World did a 118 of it, and Giant Lightning did like a hobby exclusive in this in the right color. And now this is like basically like a recolor, just in this uh, mint green color. What we got here, extremely rare, like 100, nope, 17, 1746 Mercury Woody wagons were produced in 1950. 59 ambulance, uh, measured 225 inches long. Uh, to compare, full size 2023 Escalade measures 212. Get that open. Right, take a look at the Woody Wagon first. I've seen this used a few times under the round two banner. So I did try this new setup before, like when I was doing it, the my test it was focusing better, but whatever. Um maybe. <laughs> But uh, anyway, uh, they've used it a few times. They used it in the spoilers line. Uh, they used it, I think, for something else, too. I don't remember what. But now we get the Surf Rod one. Nomad Surf Shop. What the hell does that say? Spawn. Oh, Shredding Waves. Jesus Christ. <laughs> definitely a cool little, definitely a cool one. And now, 
the, I forget what the hell they called it. It had kind of it has a name. I for, like not just shark bite, but I can't remember what the hell it was. Anyway, so we've seen we've seen the ambulance used many times over the years, over the last few years. One of my videos a while ago opened the uh, orange one of these. Yeah, I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. The rust look and all that. I think it's cool. <laughs> all right. So version B, we got the woody in kind of this beige color, more stock looking. And then the ambulance in an actual ambulance type of. It's a 50 worry wagon. Uh, was partially complete and... Dearborn, it was shipped to the Michigan Upper Peninsula to Fords. Uh, Fords something mountain facility <laughs> uh, for its locally sourced real wood paneling. Didn't know that. Uh, 59 Caddy Ambulance was built and assembled by Miller Meteor Coach Building Company in uh, Piqua, Ohio. That came off really easy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Put that there. Take out the woody and the ambulance. All right, there's that. Just, just the light a little bit. Might help with the focusing a little better. So this time we'll look at the ambulance first. Maybe I just got too much crap in the background. That's why it doesn't like to focus. So I will. Play with that next video. So, yeah. So the hood does not, yeah, the hood does definitely does not open on the ambulance. They've had this, this is another one of those casts, like a lot of the giant lightning ones, because they don't really do much newer ones. They use 96 copyrights. So this is a 25, 25 plus year old. 27 now, a uh, year old tool. <laughs> All right, and now for the stock woody. Uh, not much here. <laughs> Just good looking Mercury woody, woody wagon. All right, so that's that pair. Next up, we got the Super 70s. Uh, version A, we got 76 Olds Cutlass Supreme in the blue and the 72 Buick Riviera in kind of this uh, brownish red. 76 GM produced uh, 91,312 units of the Olds Cutlass, including all trim levels. Uh, the Bolt-Tail 72 Buick. Uh, originally intended to be assembled in GM's A-body platform, which was nearly a foot shorter. Uh, cost factored in, and it, it was decided to use the E-body platform instead. Cool little tidbits, one well, of those just things I never knew. Malays era vehicles. We got the old Cutlass here. Not much to talk about. It looks sharp in this blue. Oh. And then the Riviera. Oh, hood is. Yeah. Hood does open on these. I think it should open on the Cutlass too. I just didn't open it yet. So, <laughs> does it? Yeah, it opens on this. There we go. So, that's that pair. And now for, they basically sw almost kind of swapped it. We got kind of this uh, little little brighter color red for the Cutlass and black on the Riviera. Let's see what we got. Old Cutlass Supreme, uh, Cooper of K in the top of the line, Brogham. Uh, Brogham and badging, uh, trim and badging, uh, which added a more luxurious interior. The Riviera na name originated in 49 Buick Roadmaster Riviera. It's Italian for coastline. Okay. See, I, it's always educational reading those little side notes. <laughs> cut up there. Look at the Cutlass. Now, this is a wheel. I don't, we don't see this wheel cap used that often. At least I don't think we have. Or it just gets used on ones that I don't 
really care to get. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to start doing these videos without the shit piled up in the back. That might be what's screwing up all my focusing. <laughs> all right, and now the Black Riviera. I don't know what to say. <laughs> All right, next up, we got the BMX 2 pack. Uh, we got the 65 uh, Volkswagen Type 2 Transporter and the 76 Ford Econoline van, the version A. Uh, it's the same way uh, Schwinn will be on the, is on the other VW and Ron Bruce is on the other Econoline. Let's see what we got here. Schwinn Stingray was developed in the early 60s to follow the trend of kids customizing their bikes to look like chopper style motorcycles. The Mongoose FS1. Was released in '86, becoming the best-selling, becoming a bestseller. It was a BMX bike factory customized for freestyle stunts. That's cool. The facts are about BMX and not about the cars. <laughs> so this pack, the Volkswagen doesn't really do much for me. Not that I don't like Volkswagen. I just these van, I don't stock van like this doesn't really do a lot for me. Don't get me wrong, it's good looking casting. It looks kind of cool. It looks cool with like the Schwinn stuff on here, but it's just, it's not, not particularly something I care about. But the Catalan van, I love the boogie van tools. <laughs> and they give this one, you know, the hot rod lug and got the side pipes, the bigger wheels in the back and all that, so. Yeah. Mongoose USA factory team. The Mongoose logo. Tom, Tom McEwen? Yeah, Don, Don Snake for Dome, Tom McEwen. So, Tom the Mongoose McEwen. Anyway, and we got version B. The Mag Scrambler for the Schwinn on the Volkswagen. And just a uh, motocross bicycles. Mongoose USA factory hauler on the Econoline. Uh, let's see. For 1975, Schwinn developed the Scrambler. It was first bike from Schwinn, specifically made for BMX racing, a new trend sweeping the nation. Uh, Skip Hess of S Simi Valley, California, developed the Motomag cast magnesium wheel for BMX bikes. It was so popular, Skip formed BMX Products, Inc. Uh, mass producing the revolutionary new wheels. This eventually led to the origin of Mongoose bikes in 1975. Let's go ahead and get this pack opened up. So, your Schwinn VW. Like I said, it's a good looking cast. I just don't, it doesn't do anything for me. Stock, stock folk like is don't. Stock, yeah, stock Volkswagens don't really do anything for me. And the Ford Car Line. I don't know. I like this pair. This pair looks, to me, this pair looks pretty cool. <laughs> How can you not like a boogie man? So that is those. And next up, we'll go into... Uh, the trailer sets. I've had some of these I've had lying around a while. <laughs> uh, this was from, what was these, 2021? Yep, 2021 release one. I got these pretty much when they came out, so these have been hanging out a while. <laughs> uh, so this is the Hummer H2 with just a flatbed trailer. Uh, see, let's see. Kinds of images shown in 2000 Detroit Auto Show previewing the H2 Hummer, Hummer H2. Uh, due to rising gas prices, economic crash to 2008, H2 sales slow significantly. Production ended in 2009. That's when GM killed off Pontiac, uh, Oldsmobile, Hummer, I think a couple other brands. <laughs> Saturn. Saturn died with it too. So oh, there's that. So you got just your basic trailer, nothing too fancy. It does got the added wheels on here, which is kind of which is a neat little touch. 
Um, and then you got the ramps. These do. Nice thing about these is they they are basically kind of hideaway. You can hide them in, in the poster there. The way the trailer is designed, you can just slide them back up in here. So that way, you don't lose them. That's the trailer. We don't really care about the trailer too much, though. We care about the Hummer. That's one of the main reasons I got this. One, I, I like the ones that come with the flatbed. It's like if I ever get um, room to really dis like you know display stuff, I'll use that. I'll utilize it. But for now, that is not in the cards. That there we go. Eventually, we'll get there. <laughs> that but i like i like as much as i don't care for the real vehicles i like i mean i like the hummer h1 and the h2 in the scale form so that is the green h2 and we also got it in blue uh a custom ocean blue what's that one? Oh, that's the green is actually an actual color it's a medium sage green so that's an actual factory color uh, anyway, let's see here. Do the Hummer H2 exceeding 80 inches wide. It was required to have the three orange marker lights added to the roof per DOT regulations. At 3.75 inches long, the bed of, of this trailer. Oh, this is exactly 164 scale of a full size 20 foot version. Okay. That's cool. Put that, put that there. So. Got your blue trailer. Does have chrome hubs for the wheels. There goes one ramp. There goes the other. Those up under there. That one in there. Maybe. That was a pain. Kitty is meowing at something. We got the Hummer. Yes, Lacuna. I don't know where you are. We'll, we'll get you in a minute. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I think the H2 is a cool casting. <laughs> All right, next up we got the 1980 Chevy Monte Carlo with. Best boat. This one is in light current camel poly. Is this supposed to be camel? Alright. Anyway, uh, the metric 203 speed automatic transmission was standard in all 80 Monte Carlo models. On 80, there were 148,842 total units built of the Monte Carlo. Of those, 13,893 were turbocharged. So, yeah. Okay. Got that. Just over there. Alright. So, this is one, like I said, I don't, I never had these before. I am going to cut that off later. So, here's just the trailer for the boat. Here's the boat. Actually, pretty good, cool detail on these. How old is this? What was it? 2001. Okay. We've both been around a while. Hmm. I never had a release. They had that came with the boat. So that's new to me. <laughs> oh, and that just uh, swings like that. That's cool. So that is there. But the one most people care about the Monte Carlo. Looks really good with these wheels. I hope they use these uh, wheel caps more for this Monte Carlo. I troll. <laughs> Let's see, we got that. And it will not go on that because I'm not gonna 
snap it like I did on that El Camino freaking many, many videos ago. <laughs> All right, next up, we got the other 80 Monte Carlo. This one in bright blue poly. Boat and trailer match, just like the other pack. Uh, Chevy Monte Carlo was named after the city. The same name located in the Principality of Monaco. Uh, the name was meant to convey luxury. As a departure in se from 79, the 80 Monte Carlo revised the front end styling to use quad headlights. Okay. That's something I just never technically noticed before. <laughs> All right, here, got that, that there. Got our boat and trailer in blue. So it's there. <laughs> and what everyone actually cares about, Monte Carlo. So this is a newer casting for Johnny Lightning. It debuted in um technically debuted early last year. It's supposed to debut in actual 2022. Um, but it just the way the mixes fell as far as when stuff came out and all that. It didn't debut until calendar year 2023. But awesome. Definitely an awesome casting. Basically a true 164 scale, like Auto World. The only thing that might not be 164 scale directly is the wheel wells because they designed them to fit the standard uh, Johnny Lightning wheels. Awesome cast. It looks really good in this blue. I just kind of wish they didn't use this uh, big like, wire wheel on it. All right, and lastly, a much older pack. Uh, 96, no, 96? Yeah, 96 Dodge Ram. These were from, uh, release one. Let's see. So that's 2017 release three. So these were probably late, late 2017, early 2018 releases. Doesn't have the year specifically for the vehicle and trailers, truck and trailer line, but. Anyway. So, no fact things to do on here, but this one is just kind of a dark red and silver. Oh, that's a much bigger card than I thought it was, too. <laughs> Did not realize that. Anyway, uh, I got some stuff moving out of the way. Right. Anyway, got that there. So we got just a regular flatbed. Nothing too fancy, the same as the other other ones I've opened, same that come with a couple of those Auto World sets I've opened before. Maybe. We not why are we? Oh boy. Well, I'll have to mess with that later. Okay, why is the paint too thick on these? What the hell? All right, I'll have to mess with that later. <laughs> the real reason, the Dodge Ram. Another much older casting, 97 copyright on this. Um, but it's really cool casting, I think, anyway. There's detail. I have a few of these since round two uh, started using it. I have a pair that was from... I think they came with uh, like camper trailers, but I don't have the camper trailers. I got them loose. There was a uh, project in project projects in progress re uh, release one in like multiple color, like it was found, and then uh, the one just all primer gray. I don't have the gray one. And there was this pack, and I think it's been used another time or two. Besides that. I'll have to fix that. I definitely gotta fix that. <laughs> Alright, and lastly we got the RAM in white and silver. Oh, new trailer tune. Okay, so that debuted for this set. That's good to know. Alright. Trailer. Close out because 
just so y'all can see how it works. You just pop right in there. And sometimes they say, sometimes they don't, but there, just like just like that. And then we got the RAM and white and silver. So I definitely need to play with how the hell the focus is working on this. It does work. It works. It's just kind of a pain in my ass. Anyway. Yeah. So that is the RAM. Go up the trailer. Just like that. All right. And that will do it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you next time. Have a good one.